This part of the birds of the feather of our conference in the survey room is about the job XML files that we're now able to create using the translators provided to us. Uh, so we have new data collectors. So if we go have a look at our data collector setup, either using the toolbar here or under survey setup. And here I've got the Trimble link one. If I hit the drop down, you can see that one in my list. And there's also the Leica 1200 DBX TDF. So if I select this Trimble one and hit edit, so in our list of instruments here, if you hit the drop down, we have uh, the usual ones, and we've got the uh, Leica DBX uh, to TDF. So that TDF is a different field file to what you're used to seeing before. Now we have be able to have collapsible groups like what we have in 12D field in our field files. So you'll see that in a minute when I bring it in. So and it also gives the field file a different extension uh, when it creates a field file. So instead of a .fld, it'll be a, a 12D field. So F-I-E-L-D. Okay, so they're the ones that you can select. And the extension it's looking for is a JXL file for the Trimble. So out of your controllers, you'll need to export a JXL file. Um, this is the translator it's using. All of the other settings are the same as the old Trimble link settings. So I'll just hit finish to that one. Set that as my data collector. And we'll now go convert one of those raw files. So over here we've got the convert raw to field. Or under survey convert raw. So we've got a field file here, a JXL file raw file, select that, it automatically populates the field file name. Uh, so I can hit convert. It'll run through, press enter to continue, finish. So now I'll reduce that field file. And you can see here, the field file extension is that 12D FIELD instead of the .fld. So if I just make it copy that, control V, control V, reduce, reducing is finished, all right. So that's now in my view. So if I have a look at that, so edit field data by string, you can pick and accept and it brings up the field file editor. So you can see now we've got the groups here. And if we have a look at one of these points, so this, I'll just widen this out. So this coordinate here, so it's a spot height. And if I can open up the attribute information, And so when I open up the attribute information, it's got uh, the timestamp, the name or the point ID, the code, GPS um, static observation, it was had a fix, normal, uh, all the information in here. Uh, it's even got the information about the base station. So it was a, a Department of Transport and Main Roads. Um, the computed grid, if I open up that, it's got the computed grid coordinates there and the elevation. And it also has the precision. So the horizontal and the vertical precision. And also the quality control information as well. The number of satellites, uh, all the P dots, G dot, H dot, V dot, all that information there. So that is going to make uh, some people happy with the, the amount of attribute information that is there. So that, that is one uh, great new feature in V11. Um, there's also one down here about the warnings as well. So tilt warnings, 
there's a few not supported things there so uh, great information there for people who want that okay so I'll finish that one and now I'll just uh, show you the Leica one so we'll set change our data collector for the Leica so if I hit the drop down we've got the Leica 1200 so if I quickly show you that one so if I choose Leica 1200 um, so once again here's the translator uh, dbx to field.exe so that's in the um, program files so hopefully this will all be set up for you when, when you get v11 and then you'll be able to just pick the data collector okay so we'll just hit um, finish that we've already written it away so I'll just pick it out of my list set finish and now we'll convert convert raw to field so this one here is a thousand points so that this has been surveyed and it it puts the points into groups so a hundred point groups so I'll just select that one convert conversion okay it'll just run through and convert those files translation okay finish reduce the field file so once again it's that dot 12d field reduce let's turn the one into this view so if I edit that field file okay so it's put them into a parent group here like a group and if I hit the drop down it shows the groups from points collected from 1 to 100 So there's a hundred point group. So it just makes it easier to find uh, the point that you're looking for. Instead of having to scroll down a massive list, you can then um, just collapse them up or down as you need them. So it should make it a little bit easier to find the point IDs. And this one's got a few attributes in here as well. So depending on what attributes were stored in the field, um, got a few here. So that is the um, the job XML files, the survey job XML files. Oh, one last thing I might just show you is um, is some of the attributes using the um, attribute properties one. So we've made a shortcut. Uh, F eight is the string attributes key shortcut key. So now if I pick onto one of these points here, so under the vertex attributes, see how it's got the Trimble link group, uh, point record, and then there's all that information there. So this is the outside of the field file editor. And if I have a look at the quality, it's got all of that information there as well. Okay, thank you.